Hello everybody. I thought I'd just uh, do a quick run of a few photographs in the front garden and uh, people tend to stop and have a look at the colours but what we what they probably don't know is that we've got something to look at uh, all year round all year around I should say and um, this is one of the things that comes out at this time of year and it's not particularly good for the bees because they have to get inside if I was uh, giving you advice on what to plant for bees I would say uh, plant uh, things that are flowering uh, that are open where the bee doesn't have to climb into it it's much easier for them to land on something and move on to the next uh, plant and this is what's been happening with the front garden now in the back garden uh, I'm not speaking about the front garden but in the back garden we've had um, a bee colony overtake one of the nest boxes and it was doing very well until last week and, and then all of a sudden all the bees disappeared now, I'll say a bit more about that later I believe this is a snapdragon again in the front garden and this is uh, only uh, inches or centimeters away from the uh, uh, footpath on the main road and it's thriving and people as I've said just stop and have a look and uh, it depends if you're going up the street or down the street what you're going to see so some people go up and down and say nothing but they have a good look anyway to see uh, what we've got uh, but this one uh, has been dormant for I would say two or three years and then all of a sudden here it is sprung upon its own without any uh, well, without us knowing about it really so uh, what can I say I, I've I've taken a uh, few photographs of it I may draw it I may paint it as well um, here's a better view of it of course it looks really stunning and I think I've used um, I don't know if I've used a bit of a zoom on that or if I've used a, a close-up lens on that one uh, but you can see every detail and the coloration is, is wonderful and it's been out I believe about a fortnight huh? and it's no signs of uh, looking as though it's going to uh, uh, die on us and uh, but I've, I cannot tell you to be all in all honesty I cannot tell you if bees have been using it to pollinate now last year we oh, was it last year or year before we had a, a, a fairly rare uh, bee in the garden I did um, a vlog on it for you all to see and um, it, it uh, wintered over inside um, an hole that was uh, in one of our steps up to the house and uh, I'm not sure what happened to it after that but these uh, come every year and these are the ones that I were telling you about what the bees like they like to get into the open flowers you can see some of dying, dying off but they keep coming and coming and coming and later if we dead at them they'll, they'll last a bit longer and also you can see on the right hand side hydrangeas now hydrangeas what we do is we just cut them back in March we cut them back in this March and just afterwards there was a frost a keen frost and it killed off quite a bit of the leaves so we cut the dead leaves off I'm thinking that we'd overcut it and here they are coming again 
And in fact, this, this photograph doesn't do that, those eye changes justice because we've got two, one on the drive, one in the front garden, and at the moment they're looking stunning. And on the right hand side there, you can just see a little bit of a channel, that's where men dug the uh, front garden up for us, uh, to lay some piping down, um, last, last year. And I've put two lots of grass on there and it's not taken. And so I'm going to just let it do its own thing. I've even tried putting some uh, uh, clover seeds on and that's not taken either. But a better view of the hydrangeas. Um, the, um, I think they like that because there's plenty of water coming down. Uh, no, no they're not, they don't like like it there because there's plenty of water coming down. I like it there because they prefer the morning sun. Get my facts right. Uh, but you can see there also next next door I've got a new fence up and he's uh, lifted his front garden right to the top of that wall. Uh, you can see that. So it's quite a substantial height from ours to theirs. And I'm uh, hoping that uh, it's not going to be uh, affect our plants because he's put um, limestones down and I, I'm worried that the lime once it gets soaking wet will soak through onto our plants but we'll have to wait and see uh, hopefully that will not occur but it's something you need to take considera consideration of when you get new neighbours just have a look what they're doing and see what happens. Now you have this one, of course, you can see now how close we are to the road. Um, but once again, we've got all these plants in and hardly any weeds are showing through. So, um, the other thing is that when these plants die back, the sides of the lawns are not straight. Uh, but I do try and straighten them out. And uh, in winter, they're, if they're not straight, they don't look very nice. But I've decided this year not to straighten them off because when the flowers are on, they look wonderful. And um, uh, it, it doesn't take any uh, kind of work at all. All I do is cut the uh, lawn back and put it on the lowest setting to help keep the weeds at bay and I just do a little bit of uh, hoeing around the edges when the weeds get too uh, evasive and I've got something called a spud hole, spud hole and it cost me about £20 and it's, uh, but it will last a lifetime and what it is, it's a tiny little narrow hole just a few centimetres across and they call it a spud hole because they use one of this type of holes to get between the potato rows uh, as of course for some people call potato spuds and um, it works fine it, it uh, gets the weeds it, oh, I can haul the weeds out uh, without touching the plants but here you can see that uh, it, the uh, the borders are just crammed full with things and different things seem to come each year they don't always seem to come at the same uh, every year but in the far corner there we have a, like a, a grassy thing because we didn't think anything would grow there but actually there's no problem we, uh, we've had one or two things die on us uh, but that's probably the soil rather than because they're so close to the main road and um, we've also got uh, a situation where we have to keep the flowers lower than the fence uh, because people, some people just lob the top of the plant off they don't get a lot of it but it does happen and this, this just leads from the side of the house um, to the gate and it just illustrates really how small the front garden is it's only like a postage stamp 
uh, I, I, sorry, I'm going to repeat myself here. It's only like a, a postage stamp, but um, it, it looks wonderful. You know, I mean, the photograph doesn't do the cause justice. Uh, and it's got something happening all the time. Now, uh, not last year, but the year before it, we see the old pavilion there. Uh, cottage garden look some people call it and we get uh, weeds growing between the uh, slabs of the uh, paving well two years ago my son and I took all the uh, weeds out of between the uh, slabs and we put some uh, black filler in uh, but I think what we would do this time we would put black filler uh, sun and cement and maybe a bit more black filler on top and uh, I think that will keep the weeds at uh, bay for a lot longer. Uh, but having said that, look at this, you know, I mean, I, 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 half of these plants I don't know. I just maintain the garden. My son does. He's the plants person and uh, he, he knows every plant we've got. And I just ask him, and uh, it, being an old person like I am, I can't retain the knowledge in my head like I used to do. Uh, but I do uh, appreciate having a garden because before we came to live in this particular dwelling, we hadn't got a garden at all. And I used to have an allotment, and we, my family and I used to go down to the allotment and we'd sit in that looking at the stuff growing for hours on end. Uh, but it's much nicer to have your own garden. And there are people who've got uh, lots bigger gardens than we've got at the front of the house. And they don't do anything with it at all. Just pave it all over with uh, chippings in the one instance. Uh, in another they've got uh, lime uh, stones. Uh, and so on and so forth. Now here you can see um, this is yet another open plant for the bees. Usually there's quite a few bees about. But not on this occasion. I think possibly if I remember the sun wasn't out. It might have been a bit chilly because bees don't like the cold this day. Staying in well they stay somewhere. I don't know where they stay. I have seen them in top topic uh, on plants sleeping and things like that. But I've, I don't know enough about bees to be able to tell you about it. Now I'm going to get to know more about bees because, as I said earlier, in a, in a vlog, um, the bees took over our nest boxes and uh, they died. And uh, they, I, I believe they get some kind of a virus. Uh, and it's a shame because we've got all these wonderful plants there for them to use. And they have been using uh, them. And uh, they're not going to get pollinated now, are they? So it's a real shame, really. Uh, I know this one's got a bit out of focus and I think it's because I moved. But you can see in the background there's lots of clover uh, in this patch of uh, grass and there's also lots of daisies. Now we've never had lots of da daisies, we've only had a few. So this time around I left the grass to go along, along by my standards, that's uh, about four inches high I would say. And uh, the, the day, daisies are cutting off again now. They, they take over. And we, I like clover in the front. And I like daisies in the front. Because the grass grows very mossy there. Because it's uh, below the level of land next door. And it's in like a, a bowl effect. So it, it gets mossy quick. And of course it doesn't get any sun in the afternoon. Uh, all morning, yes, this one. But it's uh, it's well worth keeping up to and looking after. 
Anyway, that's about it for now. And um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed listening to my uh, ramblings of the, about the front yard. Bye for now.